Hi guys! I'm Jen. How I become a flight attendant after failing assessment day twice. Yes, I failed twice on the assessment day with the same airlines. So I was thinking maybe I don't have the quality of being a flight attendant. Maybe this is not my time. I wasn't really prepared enough. Plus, I wasn't prepared, I lose my confidence. Ano nga ba yung mga ginawa ko para maipasa yung third time na pag-apply ko as a flight attendant? Yung mga stages yung application for flight attendant. First is yung apply ka online or open day. Second is yung online assessment and interview depending on the airlines na ina-applyan ninyo. And then third is yung assessment day and interview. During application, ang unang-una mong kailangan is your CV and your picture. So, kailangan mo ng powerful na CV. Maraming template online na pwede mong kopyahin. Mas maganda na iuna mo yung mga work experiences mo para makita nila yun agad. That's for open day. Pag online application naman, try to fill up all the information needed. Lagay mo rin lahat ng mga trainings mo, especially kung may trainings ka about safety and security. Huwag mong kakalimutang ilagay lahat yun. Next naman sa application pa rin is your picture. Before, yung una kong picture no first attempt ko, sa hindi ko naman talaga then masyadong napaghandaan, is picture ko lang na full body and passport size. Yun na yun. <laughs> Which is mali. Huwag siya pong gagawin yun. Punta po tayo sa studio. Picture ka. Hindi kailangan mamahaling studio or mamahaling photographer. Follow yung requirements ng airlines. For example, they want you to have a white background and a white background. Gusto naman nila ng blue background, blue background. Also, your hair and makeup. As much as possible, make it natural. So, if you have long hair, make sure na nakatie up din yung hair mo online assessment, English test, comprehensive test, and online interview. Depende ulit sa airlines na ina-applyan nyo. But merong link yun na isasend nila and then may time yun. So before mo i-click yung link na yun, do your research. Maghanap ka ng mga online uh, forum, yung mga group. Na Sumali ako sa group na yun and napakalaking tulong nila sa akin. Especially yung mga tao na tapos na mag uh, online assessment they will give you tip kung mabait sila yung iba naman sasabihin nila sa iyo kung ano na yung naging flow nung application nila so meron kang group na kung saan makaka-relate ka pwede ka ring mag-search ng sample online assessment test para maging familiar ka dun sa magiging screen mo during your online assessment para mabilis yung pagsagot mo yun naman sa online interview gagamit mo rin tong tip na to sa final interview gather all the frequently asked questions na makikita mo online or sa book lista mo sila and then collect the, all the best answers and compose your own compose your own kasi mas maganda kung magagaling sa iyo talaga mismo yung answer rather than nakuha mo lang online kasi prone yon sa mental block ka and mabulol or mas stutter ka during interview. So, isa ko rin ginawa na pag online interview, may mga post it ako na nakalagay din sa laptop. Just to remind me lang, halimbawa lang na makalimutan ko yung sagot na meron ako doon, guys. As for my experience, online interview, tell me about yourself, why you wanna be a flight attendant, and why this airlines. So now, we're going to the assessment day. <laughs> Heartbreaking na part sa akin. So, sobrang kinabahan pa rin ako nung third time ko kasi um, natatakot na akong ma-reject na naman. Yung assessment day, divided siya into four stages. Depending again dun sa airlines na ina-applyan ninyo. The English and Math Test, Group Activities, Role Play, and then Final Interview. So, Group Activities ako laging napapauwi. First attempt, nawag yung pangalan ko to leave the room. Second attempt, hindi tinawag ang pangalan ko. Medyo. Pero, lahat ng hindi tinawag ang pangalan, leave the room. 
So, ito yung mga ginawa ko para may pasa ko na this time yung assessment day. Please come early. Lahat ng airlines, they are very strict with time. Next is be ready and prepared. Yung outfit mo, yung makeup mo, yung buhok mo, lahat. Yung English and math test. Um, basic lang naman po siya. They will provide you a calculator or an addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division kasi you're gonna sell yung mga items nila during flight. Group activities naman is i-divide kayo into group and then they will give you a topic na pag-uusapan nyo as a group. So before, hindi ako masyadong nakakapagbigay uh, ng suggestions. Try not to be aggressive and try not to be uh, quiet naman. So, kailangan meron ka ding masuggest and make it straight to the point. Another tip is, halimbawa binigyan kayo ng name bag, always call your groupmate your name. Simple lang to, pero makaka-attract to ng attention nung uh, interviewer. Next is, acknowledge their suggestions. So, kung halimbawa, meron silang na-suggest na maganda eh nagustuhan mo din talaga yung suggestion nila, you mention their name or, John, that's a great idea. And then, kung may iadadagdag ka naman, John, that's a great idea. We can also do this like that. So, hindi ka yung parang leader at hindi ka rin naman yung sobrang tahimik na hindi na makapagsalita. Iba-iba yung scenario na binibigay sa group discussion. Remember and take note that airlines' main concern is yung safety and security. Survival, yan yung mga pwedeng maging topics during group discussion. Also, yung culture. Kasi you will be traveling from this country to this country. So, next is yung role play. Test nila dito yung problem-solving skill mo and yung customer service skills mo. So, yung napunta sa akin is, there's a guest and your hotel is fully booked. You're the front office agent. What will you do? Yung guest na yun, meron siyang meeting dun sa, business meeting dun sa hotel. Pwede na lang, isa yun sa mga nakolekt akong frequently asked question. So, ang naging sagot ko is, I will contact the nearest hotel and book you a room. And we will also provide you transfer. Some scenarios are, what if you're a barista in a coffee shop and walang sugar? So, what will you do? Iwan ko na sa inyo yung question na yan. <laughs> Final interview. Sa na-experience ko, dalawa yung interviewer, isa yung nagtatanong, isa nagsusulat. Papasok din dito yung tip from online interview na collect all the frequently asked questions, gather them, and then compose your own. Final interview ko, questions are, tell me about yourself, why you wanna be a flight attendant, and if you really wanna be a flight attendant, why you didn't apply to the other airlines, and why you applied to our airlines. Ma masasuggest ko is to compose your answer. Lagi nyo i-include yung safety and security. And also, yung kung bakit nyo ba talaga gustong maging flight attendant. Also, make sure na mag-research kayo about dun sa airlines na ina-applyan nyo. So, dun mo i-base din yung mga answer mo. Being prepared help me to boost my self-confidence. And because of that, everything follows. Being positive, being prepared, best key to get into a job. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped. Especially if you are applying for a flight attendant position. First time mo or second time na to or third time, just go for it. The good thing is airlines never ban anyone from applying. You can always reapply. Good luck and guys, don't worry if you didn't make it this time. There's always next time. But always remember, learn from your mistakes and move forward. I hope with this video, you will pass your flight attendant assessment day. Enjoy your training, have fun, and save skies. Bye!